got another adventure coming up, and this one involves kids. So, what's it going to be today? Okay, today we're at a new house I just bought, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm going to be, be a, the guest presenter at uh, summer camp for uh, children, 7 to 17 year olds, talking about business and entrepreneurial. And I'm going to do a real time uh, session with them where I'm going to go to a house, one of these houses I've just recently bought, and show them what uh, real estate investing is all about, how to build wealth, and hopefully plant the seed in some of the kids' minds such so that one day they'll be uh, able to do this themselves and build wealth that way. So that's the purpose of today's session. And uh, this is a new house I just bought uh, here in Northeast Washington, D.C. And the house currently is a uh, pretty ugly situation. Nothing's happened. It's uh, it's pretty sad, you know, but it is what it is. It's pretty sad. <laughs> but we're going to transform this house. From, nice color. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, nice color. It's got four walls. Uh, we're going to transform this house from its current condition uh, into a hopefully a beautiful situation at the end of the day. And it's going to be a nice house. I'm going to keep it as a buy and hold. So I'm not going to sell this house and hopefully offer it to a family who will uh, be proud to live here. Great neighborhood. And uh, be very happy for the opportunity that's uh, you know being afforded them. And uh, so you're going to see this journey and look forward to uh, showing you how to do this. Thanks. So what's unique about this house? I mean, as we take a look inside, it's pretty much similar to most of the houses in yeah, terms of the shape. It's just standard DC road. It's got an interesting odor. Yeah, right. Yes, yes. It's got an interesting odor, but you can't hear it. You can't smell it. But it's your typical row house, so it's got walls everywhere, you got the... Okay! <laughs> right. um, I think I know where the odor's coming from. <laughs> <laughs> we need one person to go up the steps. Michael? Yeah, the walls, oh, I can see them go from here. Oh, we gotta do it. You know, the walls are walls caving in a little bit, and you can see the wall damage. Mm -hmm. And that's where the front of the living room, this is the dining room. And then on this side of the wall, you have the kitchen. And as you can see, it's a pretty outdated kitchen, very closed in, very claustrophobic, and uh, it's your 1930, 1940 kitchen design. I get the impression that people just moved out of here yesterday. There's still dishes in the sink. Yes, somebody was here, they got evicted, and uh, as a result of that, they left in a haste. And they didn't have time to remove the, the uh, refrigerator the, magnets. Believe it or not, this house was, uh, has been cleaned up. Hmm. What's in the basement? Uh, Have you been? Uh, this is uh, this is a light. This is, this is enough light. Yeah, you know. yeah, this is fine. Okay, this is fine. Yeah, pretty pretty odd to come across a place where people's personal belongings are still here, but you're used to this. Yeah, this is nothing. This is pretty. You see, this this is kind of milk toast compared to what you've seen before, thing. right? See if there's any good tennis shoes in here now. No. 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 This reminds me of the footprint of another house that I saw you renovate. Yeah, they're all the same after a while. <laughs> okay. Y'all look happy now. Y'all give Ready? a smile. Think lunchtime. It's lunchtime. <laughs> lunch, lunch. Everybody say money. 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 money.